Hey folks, if you have had any type of fracture in your body and you required external uh, hardware to be put inside your body to, to align your bones, you might have asked your uh, orthopedic surgeon about the safety, the long-term safety of these, um, these hardwares. Now, if you ask 99.99% of the orthopedic surgeons out there, they will probably tell you that there is absolutely no reason for you to worry about any type of um, heavy metal leak um, or toxicity from these metals. Now, the safety of uh, these metals have significantly improved over the uh, past few decades. Okay, now they're using um, high-grade titanium that, um, that's very minimally, if ever, leak. But I just wanted to create this new video to tell you that uh, there are new research that shows uh, these titaniums are not 100% leak proof and they do leak. Um, I had my hardware put in in my left arm in 2001 and, and because one of the pins were kind of coming loose and I had read a few uh, a few articles about the safety of these um, these heavy metal uh, these metals in the body and yeah, the long-term safety I asked my surgeon to basically remove uh, a plate and six titanium screws from my left forearm which you can see right here it's not too scary <laughs> uh, it's a couple of weeks after the uh, actually three weeks after the surgery and um, and he told me he could I could keep these for me I could have had keep these for maybe another uh, a few years or so but eventually the pins will uh, completely come loose the screws will completely come loose and at some point I would have had to take them off anyways so um, so he recommended that I do take them off and I and having read some new articles and some new research about the safety of titanium and uh, and the um, and the hardware within the body and with, uh, whether or not they actually leak heavy metals in, in the body I decided to go ahead with the surgery now there's a big debate whether these actually do leak um, but remember that research is always ahead of the mainstream medical system and what your doctor might not know about is already being proven positive in the in the research and so uh, it takes a while for them to catch catch up to the research and if you are going through any type of surgery I do recommend that you try to avoid putting any type of hardware in your body uh, but if you really really have to do it then ask your surgeon your orthopedic surgeon to have a plan in place to take them out uh, very soon okay so you don't actually need them um, in the body because once the bone heals, the bone will actually take the structural load or to, to, to take the stress. And there, these uh, pins are not really necessary in the majority of cases. So, um, so here you go. Um, I will put a link below this video um, regarding the new research that has been done, and you will can read through for yourself and see that uh, there are indications that these titanium plates actually do leak in the body over the long term and you don't really want to have something dead in your body for 10, 20, 30 years and in my case after 14, 15 years I finally came to the realization that I had to take them out uh, solely because one of the pins was semi-loose and, uh, and it had to come off uh, later on anyways anyway uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will have a lot more videos coming up and uh, if you're looking for the for the research I can I will put the link below this video for you to check it out all right talk to you guys later